My name is Carrie Salto, and as a member of CORE, I'm going to explain a method that was utilized in my research. As mentioned in the previous podcast, we developed a dynamic energy budget to monitor energy allocation patterns in healthy and infected growing snails. This was done so through a series of differential equations. To ensure a more accurate and robust model, we generated the volume rate parameter based off of data collected in the lab. We were able to obtain the volume rate parameter, K, through the use of a logistic growth curve. We were able to attain these parameter estimates utilizing the methodologies previously mentioned through the use of a statistical program called R. After opening R, the first step is to read in your data. This works best if you have a data file that is in the CSV format. This next step uses the mean volume over time for control and infected snails to formulate logistic models for both groups. Once we have stated our models, we can use the summary command to estimate our parameters for volume for both the control and infected snail groups. We can then use these estimates in our differential equations model. Lastly, we can use R to generate graphs and figures to observe trends in our data set. These methods provided further insight to the energy allocation patterns occurring within infected and uninfected snails.